We cast our burdens upon you, O Lord, and you will sustain us. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us by your bountiful Spirit. Blessed are you, O Holy One, the God of our salvation, who bears our burden. Jacob settled in the land where his father had lived as an alien, the land of Canaan. These are the descendants of Jacob. Joseph, being seventeen years old, was shepherding the flock with his brothers. He was a helper to the sons of Beth, Betha, and Zelpha. His father's wives and Joseph brought a bad report of them to their father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any other of his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him an ornated robe. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Once Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. He said to them, Listen to this dream that I dreamed. There we were, binding sheaves in the field. Suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright. Then, my, then your sheaves gathered around it and bowed down to my sheaf. His brothers said to him, Are you indeed to reign over us? Are you indeed to have dominion over us? So they hated him even more because of his dreams and his words. He had another dream and told it to his brothers, saying, Look, I have had another dream. The sun, the moon, and even stars were bowing down to me. But when he told it to his father and to his brothers, his father rebuked him and said to him, What kind of dream is this that you have had? Shall we indeed come? I and your mother and your brothers, and bow to the ground before you. So his brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to answer when I call. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to answer when I call. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Make haste to answer me when I call. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Make haste to answer when I call. You endure forever, and your name from age to age. Make haste to answer when I call. You arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have pity upon her. Make haste to answer when I call. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart 
and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let us offer our intercessions, petitions, and thanksgiving, saying, God of our ancestors, hear our prayer. For the one holy Catholic and apostolic church throughout the world, God of our ancestors, hear our prayer. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. God of our ancestors, hear our prayer. For those preparing for baptism and for their teachers and sponsors, God of our ancestors, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, that a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples. God of our ancestors, hear our prayer. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer. For prisoners, refugees, and all in danger. That they may be relieved and protected. God of our ancestors, hear our prayer. For all whom we have injured or offended, God of our ancestors, hear our prayer. For grace to amend our lives and to further your reign, God of our ancestors, hear our prayer. God of wilderness and water, your Son was baptized and tempted as we are. Guide us through this season so that we may not avoid struggle, but open ourselves to blessing through the cleansing depths of repentance and the heaven-rending words of the Spirit. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of a God and gathering our prayers and praises into one. Let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen.